Hey, I'm Spencer Gillette, host of Food for Thought at For Christ's Sake TV. We're here at the Grand Lake Farmers Market in Oakland, California, featuring Lucero Farms from Lodi, California. And all of this wonderful produce, fruits and vegetables are here for your enjoyment. I'd like to introduce you to Priscilla Lucero, family member and operator of Lucero Farms. Priscilla, how are you today? Good, thank you. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about your family's history here with organic farming in California? Um, well, my father-in-law has been growing um, organically for over 40 years now. Um, we became CCF certified um, in 2002. Excellent. Um, we, grow, we started the farm in San Martin, but now uh, we grow in Lodi in the Central okay. Valley. What is the specialty of that special product that we can expect to find from Lucero Farms. Is it your Seascape long stem strawberries or this beautiful okra? Tell us about your product. Um, well, our, we're known for our long stem uh, strawberries. Uh, mm -hmm. we're, the only, we're the only growers that grow the long stem strawberries. Um, we grow them that way because it looks, you know, it looks pleasing, aesthetically pleasing, and then also it's, um, you can see the freshness of our berries. Absolutely. So these look really, really fresh, like just picked. When do yeah. you actually harvest for the market? The berries that are brought for Saturday are picked on Friday. Fantastic. So that's why the smell and the aroma is so <laughs> wonderful. It's just like walking through the garden itself. Yes. And we, tell we us call it real mm -hmm. strawberries. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And why organic farming? Why did your family choose organic farming? Um, well, you know, to sustain, um, you know, sustain our earth. We also, you know, think it's harmful to put, you know, toxic, you know, toxic chemicals in the in our bodies. And so, um, my, that's how my father-in-law has grown, um, you know, grew vegetables with his own Fantastic. family. And so he's just continued that as well. And I noticed that you also have. In addition to the strawberries, you have all this wonderful squash and tomatoes. Tell us a bit about that and how you decided which product to grow. Uh, well, my, my father-in-law has been growing um, tomatoes and the main things have been tomatoes and squash for a long time, mm -hmm. but it's just kind of trial and error and sometimes Sometimes we have customers that'll say, you know, I'd like you to try, you know, this, and so we sure. we do that. So we are tomatoes, cucumbers. We also grow melons, uh, okra. Uh, okay. We have peaches. We have an orchard as well. Peaches, nectarines, Fantastic. plums. So we we grow a plethora of, of vegetables. So your farm is functional year round. It's not a seasonal environment. Well, it's primarily um, primarily our season is from about April until about November or so. Okay, pretty good and season. Because it's just a small farm, we don't you know we we have to get the the field ready for the previous year Correct. or for the prior year. And mm -hmm. so um, my husband, he just he just you know gets their field ready. He and his his father. So we stop typically around November. Once again, thank you for joining us here at Food for Thought with Spencer Gillette, featuring Priscilla Lucero with Lucero Farms of Lodi, California. And remember, if it doesn't have nutritional value, for Christ's sake, why eat it? Any additional information, please contact us at theechofoodist.net. Hi, thank you for joining us. I'm Spencer Gillette, host of Food for Thought here at For Christ's Sake TV. Today we are at Grand Lake Farmers Market in Oakland, California, featuring Enfilo Coffee, traditional Ethiopian organically grown coffee imported by the owners of Enfilo Coffee directly from Ethiopia. We are here to celebrate the opening of their store in this fall in Oakland and to experience a traditional Ethiopian coffee ceremony. Joining me today is the owner, Ambasaw Asugud of Enfilo Coffee. Mr. Asegud, thank you for joining thank us. You, thank you How are you today? Thank you so much. Good, and thank you for the great coffee. Thank Please you. tell us, what made you decide to import Ethiopian organically grown coffee? Uh, well, uh, just, uh, I, I don't directly import the coffee. Okay. I buy the imported coffee. Excellent. From all 100% Ethiopian coffee. Mm -hmm. And the coffee we get is all forest coffee, uh, natural Ethiopian uh, organic uh, fair trade coffee. Wonderful. And all the coffee we get is... Uh, is uh, sun-dried, hand-picked, you know, hand washed coffee. So this organic farming process of the coffee in Ethiopia supports not only coffee drinkers, but farmers. It, is, it really is uh, most of the coffee uh, that is specialty coffee mm -hmm. it, that's exported from Ethiopia is uh, mostly done by local small farmers or cooperatives. Great. And they are a, a collection of small farmers 
they usually own small plots. Sure. And they they will aggregate their mm -hmm. their coffee and bring it to the export market. Wonderful. Most of the Ethiopian specialty coffee mm -hmm. is uh, exported to Europe, and we think there is uh, a good enough market in the, in the USA for specialty Ethiopian coffee. Absolutely. So what are some of the supporting mechanisms in the U.S. to support the sustainable organic process of growing coffee in Ethiopia? There needs to be a crea uh, created a mechanism to bring the local farmers yes. into the current American, U.S., you know, East Bay economy. Mm -hmm. And there needs to be a link. And we're hoping we can create a link to bring more value to the coffee, mm -hmm. added value to the coffee, uh, uh, bring the Ethiopian coffee from uh, a commodity to a specialty item. Absolutely. And, and introduce that high quality Ethiopian coffee to the American market. The coffee we will enjoy today is from the Limu region of Ethiopia. This coffee is very smooth and silky. It has a spicy, a little bit of a winery flavor. And we'll move quickly to meet Mrs. Uh, Asugud so she can demonstrate to us this precious and very traditional coffee ceremony. Thank you. This particular coffee is from the Limu region in Ethiopia, as we mentioned earlier. And you can tell from the aroma, it has a very winery and spicy flavor very smooth going down and we're here just enjoying a traditional ceremony. Hopefully you can join us soon when they open and feel a coffee in Oakland on Grand Avenue coming soon by September.